What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning into Bubble Tree Vlogs. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with our most current videos. I upload new videos every two weeks. I know we've all been cooped up in the house due to COVID-19, but luckily the weather is gorgeous outside. It's almost summer, summer, summertime, summertime. You just sit back and unwind. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> before I hurt anybody's ears. Anywho, I have been able to go outside for walks and for bike rides, and I have been loving it. I feel more connected with nature more than ever before. Speaking of being connected with nature though, I used to not be okay with the great outdoors because nature would connect with me too much. I hated the sun's effect on my skin and the itchy mosquito bites. The natural girl in me just doesn't get down with the harsh chemicals of conventional sunblock and bug sprays. Conventional sunblock contains certain chemicals that disrupts the hormones of sea life and damages the coral reef. Conventional bug sprays contain very harsh chemicals such as DEET, and with overuse, DEET can possibly lead to respiratory conditions and adverse skin reactions. All this did change when I found eco-friendly, reef safe vegetarian SPF. I also found a bug spray that is natural, deep free and smells great. And I also found a great after sun care routine. Now my skin is protected and moisturized. I know what some of you all are thinking. Hmm. I thought if you have darker skin, there's no need to wear SPF. Wrong. That is a myth. I know that darker skin means you have more melanin in your skin that can give you a natural SPF of 13. However, as you know, that's less than the recommended SPF 30 or higher for protecting your skin against the sun. With that being said, melanin alone may not be able to protect us enough from the damaging effects of the sun. All right, now that I've covered that piece, I will start with my face and how I like to protect it. I love to use my Shell Sun Shield Liquid SPF. It's cruelty free and vegan. It's very lightweight, oil free, so it doesn't clog my pores. It's 100% mineral full spectrum SPF that is reef safe. It has bentonite clay to balance excess moisture and give your skin a nice matte finish. I like to mix this in with my moisturizer in the morning right under my makeup. Now it's time for the body. Let me tell you something. I do not think I've ever seen anything like this on the market ever before. It is so cool. All Good made a tinted SPF 30 and it blends in with most skin tones, even mine. Yay! It can be used on the face and the body. I like to use it on my body. I already have something for my face. Um, it also has UVA and UVB protection and it's water resistant for 80 minutes. It's reef safe, non-greasy. It also contains ingredients that hydrate and repair the skin, such as coconut oil, olive oil, and cocoa butter. Multi-purpose. My neighborhood has hiking and biking trails surrounded by a lake, and as much as I enjoy being out there, the summers are so brutal when it comes to mosquitoes and other pests. I love to protect my family with Pronarome Aroma Shield Defense Spray. It's 100% natural using all essential oils such as lemongrass, cedarwood, and rose geranium oil, just to name a few. You can apply it as much as you want because it's free of harsh chemicals, it's deep free, and it smells so good. I do not smell like the typical bug spray that I'm sure nobody really likes to smell. <laughs> I just wanna say my family loves the Pranarum Defense Spray for sure. After I've been in the sun all day long, I love to nourish the skin by using the all good skin food after I've showered, I make sure to massage a nice amount into my body to rehydrate the skin. This coconut oil is my favorite because they use organic 
unrefined cold pressed extra virgin coconut oil and it's made in small batches they come in three different scents lavender coconut and lemongrass my favorite scent is lemongrass it's so refreshing, smells so good. Not only that, like lemongrass is really good for um, preventing bug bites as well. So even if you're, you know, just gonna hang out in your backyard for a little bit, it's not bad to put a little bit on. <laughs> After I'm done in the shower and my face is completely clean, I love to use the Acure Seriously Soothing Sheet Mask. This mask is great to use if you have any redness on the skin after being out in the sun. It has hydrating hyaluronic acid to soothe and hydrate the skin, along with argan oil and plant peptides. The sheet mask is made from fermented coconut fiber. Really cool stuff. Last, but certainly not least, is a brand spanking new product by Pronarum. They have a new plant beautiful skincare line. One product that really stands out for after sun care is Pronarum's Calm Facial Mist. It contains super soothing ingredients such as lavender, lemon balm, Roman chamomile, and aloe. This facial mist calms and gently hydrates the skin. I spray this on liberally throughout the day, even when I want to cool down from the hot, hot heat. That's all I have for you today. I hope you found this information helpful to help you stay safe and protected while having fun in the sun. Now get out there and play. Peace.